Uh, Tuesday, it's coming Tuesday, I'm going to do uh, probably a 15 or 20 minute news you can use on stagflation. We're going to talk about that and how it affects the housing market. We've got a real problem in the housing market right now. We've got a problem uh, stacking up for the Fed at this point because a couple of things. First of all, inflation is going crazy. You guys have all seen gas, food prices, things like that, that are uh, going through the roof. Uh, yesterday, I saw a place that was offering $6.20 gas in the Bay Area of California. I mean, that's crazy. We're, we're used to paying five plus now. Um, the first time that's ever happened. And, you know, it's we're heading north of $6 pretty soon. So, but as typical California style, it hasn't stopped any of us from driving. Uh, it's just more expensive. You're going to drive there with a more, more fuel efficient car or you're going to buy a Tesla or something like that. Anyway, um, there, there are problems in the supply chain. There are problems uh, across the world right now in terms of the war going on in Russia or Ukraine. And we're going to talk about how all of that is affected and has created stagflation. You've got a problem because raising interest rates is not going to help the inflationary pressures at the level it's needed. First of all, housing is not a part of this uh, directly of the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, the thing upon which they base, um, you know, how inflation is calculated and that type of thing. But the problem is we can't get some of the supplies necessary for housing. So the build out of housing is still slow. It has actually gone down so far year to date. So we need to be producing many, many more houses for the population we have and specifically for the millennial group who are in the home prior, the prime home buying years of their age demographic right now. But you can't build houses because you can't get cabinets, you can't get windows, you can't get plumbing, electrical supplies. A lot of this stuff comes over, comes from overseas and you still can't get it. Uh, there's no workaround. Um, and so we've got an issue where prices are going up in the broader economy uh, as they have been with house prices being raised, but uh, an increase to, to dampen the demand for housing will kill off the rest of the economy. Plus, we can't get things that we need or that the, the economy will consume. Like I said, things like, uh, in the case of our business here in the housing business, windows and, and uh, garage doors are short, believe it or not. You have a really hard time getting and supplying garage doors uh, and things like that. So we'll, we'll spend some time unpacking this thing Tuesday, probably 20, 30 minutes, really going through stagflation and how you ought to be looking ahead uh, and how that will affect your business going forward. The, the summary for the housing business is the demand is going to remain high. Uh, that probably is going to keep the prices up, but we have this underlying issue of high inflation. People cannot afford things, and one of the first things that people, it used to be the last thing they do, one of the first things they'll give up is their housing. They'll give up owning a house, and they'll go to a rental house. They'll go from a rental house to an apartment. So we could have another situation again where we have more sellers on the market. And that's what it feels like to me. More sellers desperate to get out sooner. Um, while you've got more buyers wanting to come into the market and own a house for the first time, primarily uh, millennials. So uh, like I said, it's a long topic. I can't get into it today, but we will address it next Tuesday. And we'll put together a, with some slides and things like that. Actually, uh, you and I will work on that next couple of days we'll put together something that uh, you know people can kind of seek their teeth into it's a complex economic topic and subject but it is something that's kind of necessary to understand all right that's our news you can use for today 